to know one of the arts first. Um, you need to know how to either draw, write, or color. Um, second thing you need to have is the passion for comics because you need to know what comics are about. You need to be able to figure out, you know, what the fans would like. You know, basically have a set up a comic. And the third thing you need is a team. You need other people who share the same passion or who have various skills that you don't have because you basically can't do everything yourself. Okay, first things first, people said our idea didn't make sense because we were the first ones to start digital comics officially in Nigeria. We said we didn't want to go printing and that we were going to do only digital and we were going to make it free. So a lot of people thought we were crazy and that this wasn't going to last. So that was the first thing to sell the idea. The second thing was we had this idea where we wanted to make our characters universal and not just African. And that was just because everybody felt that oh, we should keep the characters African. We should have an African trademark or they should wear African clothing. And you know, we kept asking the question that if you were going to buy a car, you won't buy a wooden car. You buy a car made of metal. So why don't we make superheroes the way people who make superheroes have been making them? And that was the second hard sell. Um, but uh, the hardest one was infrastructure. We had to deal with things like electricity, manpower, distribution, transportation, and things like that. So those are the difficulties we face. Okay, because we are in a highly religious and sensitive um, region, which is basically Nigeria, where you know things of religion, both Christianity and Muslim, and things like that, are, are held very high. What we try to do is that we try to make our concepts more universal. For example, we take um, a character like Obatala and we're explaining in our comics that Obatala is the Yoruba name for light, the concept of light itself. And that way we demystify or the spirit, let me use that word, our characters. We try to make them more universal. We're following you know, companies like Marvel and DC where, for example, you can see Thor in Avengers and he's not pushed so much as a Greek meets God, but as an alien who we call a god coming to save or fight for certain reasons and that's what we do with our characters we try as much as possible to make them more central than more religious we take religious concepts and we make them more universal and that way we don't dwell too much on um, spiritual religiosity funny enough garden prime yes um simply because um, recently we closed um, a multi-million deal with um, an exercise book company from India who makes exercise books in Nigeria and they wanted to expand and they said, the first thing they said was that they liked the concept of Guardian Prime. Um, the fact that he was Nigerian, he was universal and you know he, he passed this positive message of faith. He basically says that you are as strong as you believe you are. And they felt that, okay, that, that was a good um, notion or a good um, concept to put on the exercise book. And from there, we, you know, we were able to get them to sign on for other characters. So yes, Garden Prime has been our most beneficial and most successful character. The comic business is not really from comic sales, which is a mistake a lot of people have been making. They've been doing things like prints, expecting to make money from copy. No, you make money from things like endorsements. You make money from you know um, people advertising in your product that way if you have four or five companies advertising in one comic then it really doesn't matter how many of the comics you sell what matters is how many people can read the comics and how many investors can see that you have rich and so again which is one of the reasons why we you know we give out our comics free once you can get a following and you can get investors or people that have money because you need investment to see that you can reach people and hence their brands can also reach the people that you can meet. That's how you can make money from this industry. My name is DJ Martins and you're on Fire by the Weekly.